Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be setting up our daily spreads for the next week in March and I've got my washi tape here ready to go and I've also got these sticker books which I pulled from as well as the sticker sheet that I grabbed from the dashboard extension pack. I have a wax paper spread here as you can see it was upside down and I'm ready to go. So this week I decided that I wanted to do something with those cherry blossom branches that you saw there on the wax paper. Um, a friend of mine told me that the trees are blooming and we have like a Japanese garden nearby and I thought that would be uh, a really good inspiration for using those cherry blossom branches for the spread. The idea is that, uh, originally the idea was that I was going to have them kind of hanging down from the top. I tried this and it did not look right. It looked a little bit funky. And so I did a few other ideas. I moved them around the page quite a bit, trying to see how I wanted it to be. And the best that I thought was spreading them out on the edges, kind of having them come in and out at different points. Uh, just kind of like branches coming in on the spread. So I did that and um, I decided to add in some washi, which I think adds a little bit of extra pattern and interest as well as color. I used that thin washi to cover up the black lines just to add that pop of green. The color of the washi is not the same color as the leaves, but when you lay it over the black lines, it darkens it a bit and helps it look more like that color. Um, it, it's a more bright green when you see it up close, but like I said, with the transparency of the washi tape, it helps darken the color a little bit. It looks a little bit more like the leaves on the branches. Um, so I'm going to kind of lay it out just starting from the top, working my way down, mainly uh, left side to the right side. I'm trying to make sure that when I put it, things down that they're there exactly where they were on the wax paper sheet. Just because I don't want things to get muddled and misplaced and then it throws off the whole spread. The reason that I grabbed that dashboard sheet of stickers is because I wanted those black asterisks that you see there. Those asterisks I think are just the right amount of pattern and color. I didn't want to add too much color to this. I wanted those branches to stand out and I wanted to keep kind of black as the accent. So I grab those asterisks and I thought that would be a really good way to create checklists without adding too much visual uh, distraction I guess would be the right word for the spread. I also grabbed this quote this be in love with life quote and that was originally one long quote, which I was going to use um, together, but I decided to cut the with life off and kind of layer it below. And I think that worked out better in the end. Just kind of made a little cluster there on the side. And then I added in that black heart from the dashboard sheet as well. I'm also trying to layer the areas with, um, you know, nothing stacked too close together. So there's a lot of variation from day to day. And I did try to create my areas for my focus boxes and my checklist on each day. Some days don't actually have focus boxes because they started to get a little bit too much on the page. So I just kind of am going to save the space for that and then just use you know my writing to differentiate that from my checklist.
I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the right side of the page, getting that built out. And I used the entire sheet of stickers for this spread. There was only one sheet of these cherry blossom branches in the fun floral sticker book, which is where I got them. And so they, um, you know, I used every thing that I had that was related to those branches just because there wasn't that much. So just keep in mind if you are liking these stickers for a spread, I'm, I'm showing you everything that's available in that sticker book. I, I try to think if I had seen them in any other sticker book because sometimes Happy Planner will repeat stickers in different books in different ways so that I could get something else for the spread, but I couldn't think of any of the books that I'd seen them in. So this is pretty much it. I, I mean, unless it's in a book I don't have, which is very possible, but um, I really like the idea of them, but I wish there was more. I like to have more to deal with um, so I don't feel like I'm strained to figure out where to put things. I also grabbed that quote that's kind of in the middle of Saturday and Sunday from the Dream Seeker sticker book. That might be the only quote I pulled from there, but I just really liked, it has like a green line through it. And so when I placed it on top of the washi, it just kind of looked organic to the spread. Like that's how it was created. Um, and I really just liked that look of it. So I used it, but it's the only sticker I think I pulled from there. I also pulled a lot of little stickers like the, the Yay and I think a couple of the circle stickers. Those came from the Botanical sticker book. And then there's also a few I think from the Farmhouse sticker book. Okay, so I laid in the biggest piece there, getting those together. And then I'm going to drop in these asterisks. Okay, so now I'm going to get ready to trim everything up. I've got everything pretty much set where I want it. And I'm going to save those pieces so that I can reuse them. I'm just placing them on an empty sticker sheet for safekeeping. I didn't realize how much I had to trim on this. I kind of felt like I was done at first and then I was like, oh yeah, I got to trim this. And then I was like, oh yeah, and then on the sides. <laughs> it's like, oh. I'm also gonna have to trim out the um, holes for some of them, so I will go back and do that. Um, I also had to trim the washi tape. I, when I do the washi tape on wax paper, I usually do extra so that when I actually lay it down, I can have a little bit of breathing room for making sure the measurements are perfect to the spread. So there's always some to cut off. And now I'm just trimming in the hole so that I can actually put it in my planner. Okay, so now I'm going to lay in those extra pieces that I pulled, or that I cut off. Just trying to figure out where I want to beef it up a little bit, make it a little bit more prominent. I do you like this top area for a little bit more? However, the washi tape is right there next to it, so it's a little bit trickier there.
I think that's a good place for this guy. I'm going to use those bits up there at the top, the ones I'm not going to use in the bottom. And then I've got this one other piece, just trying to figure out if there's a good home for it. And I like it over here. Okay, so I'm pretty much done, friends. Just going to trim things out. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up down below. Go ahead and leave me a comment if you'd like to get in touch. And think about subscribing to my channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next time. Bye.